it. It's time I made it to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking forward. Get behind me, pull out every stop. I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending. Won't let them get the best of me. Whoa, 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 give me a break. Next question. Katie, this is important. Please pay attention, huh? Quantitative comparisons. The meter in a taxi cab registers 50 cents for one-fifth of a mile and 10 cents for each additional one-fifth. How many miles is a trip for which the meter registers $2.50? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> On my salary, I can hardly afford to walk. Now, would you please butt out? If Katie fouls up this test, she won't be able to get into college. And then I'll never be first in line for the bathroom. <laughs> so how many miles? Six. Wrong. The correct answer is four and one-fifth miles. That's what I would have said, Chief. See, I would have been great in college. You should have accepted that college football scholarship. <laughs> Next question. The town of Mason is located on Eagle Lake. The town of Fenton is west of Mason. Sinclair is east of Fenton, but west of Mason. Dexter is east of Tilson, but west of Sinclair and Fenton. Assuming all these towns are in the United States, which town is farthest west? Could you repeat that? <laughs> no. Sorry. Which is farthest west? Dexter? Tilson. What time is it? 9.30. Yay! She finally got one right. <laughs> Mickey, I, I don't know what's the matter with you. You're, you're bumming out on all these sample questions. In case you forgot, this is a very important day for the family. You're going to be the first Kaniski to, to ever go to college. That's right. <laughs> I want Katie to have all the opportunities I never had. Yeah, your daddy never had a chance to join a sorority. <laughs> Dad, can we go now? You promised to take me bowling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go out and get the bowling ball out of the closet. Wait a minute. Are you going to send a child into that closet alone? <laughs> I'll go with her. Look, if I'm not back in six weeks, I leave everything to my sister Brenda, except for my body. <laughs> that I leave to the San Francisco 49ers, yay team. <laughs> okay, we got time for a couple of more. Effectiveness of expression. Now, please, pay attention, huh? Select the best version of the following sentences. One, during her appearance on the talk show, Germaine Greer discussed her best-selling book, The Female Eunuch. Two. Dad, that's eunuch. What exactly is a eunuch? Oh, that's a dude who's lost his sports equipment. <laughs> so Matt is waiting for you. Yeah, I better go. Katie, you better get started, too. Good luck, honey. Remember, we're all counting on you. I'll do my best, Dad. Try to answer all the questions. Take the easy ones first and then the hard ones. And if you can't answer a question, well, then just guess. Just keep telling yourself, you're going to be the first Kaniski to ever go to college. All right, all right. <laughs> Four years from now, she'll be falling all over herself thanking me, especially when she goes out and gets a good paying job. Come on, Samantha. Look, I'll be rooting for you, honey. Thanks, Nell. Oh, Katie, if you do blow it, don't sweat it. 
I never went to college and I got a bachelor's degree. <laughs> In what? Bachelors. <laughs> Guess it's time. Julie, you're a real lifesaver. You know, it's lucky for me there's one brainy one in this family. I haven't saved you yet. What if they don't let me in? Oh. Take my ID card. Nobody over there knows me. I don't look anything like this picture. Don't worry. Do you really think I can pass for you? Julie, look at this ID picture of me. What does it look like? <laughs> Hair. Two eyes and a nose. <laughs> I can pass for that. There you go, Mom. Oh. Hot? <laughs> Daddy, I'm starving. Can we eat now? As soon as the guest of honor comes down. What do you think of Katie's test results, Ed? Pretty impressive, huh? Hey, they're great. I knew she was brilliant, even if she did get all those Fs in school. Oh, inside that beautiful head beats a beautiful brain. You're not kidding. In the upper 10%. Can't beat that, huh? Oh, it's kind of like Bo Derrick winning a Nobel Prize. <laughs> and uh, here she is. Oh, hey, hey. The Kaniski quiz kid. Sorry it took so long. Hi, Uncle Ed. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, hello, Hi, darlings. Oh, oh, my... Brilliant girl! Oh. Ah, Grandma! Oh. Grandma! I've already got a dimple. Oh, you can never have too many dimples. It worked for Shirley Temple, didn't it? Uh, hi, Grandpa. Uh, say hello to Katie. Oh! Uh, Katie! Oh, Katie! Hi. Guess how old I am. Nobody ever guesses. 65. No, nobody ever guesses. 70? No, nobody ever guesses. 75. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody ever guesses. How old are you? 75. <laughs> I guess that. See? Nobody ever guesses. <laughs> He's just teasing, Katie. He hears what he wants to hear. That is a lie. <laughs> day, gotta run. Oh, sorry, everybody. Previous engagement. Remember, I want you home by 10 o'clock. Daddy, I'm 15 years old. I'm almost a woman. That's why I want you home by 10 o'clock. <laughs> Baby, isn't this Katie's dress? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Don't tell me you're loaning your sister your clothes. I'm getting soft in my old age. Great. In about three months, I'm going to ask you for your bra. Oh, Julie. Julie, wait a minute. I've got something for you. Wait a minute. Here, take this. A dollar? Uh, put it in your shoe. I don't need any money, Grandma. It's bus fare. A girl should never have to choose between a ride home and a fate worse than death. Is it really a fate worse than death? Who remembers? <laughs> Bye. 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 Samantha, pick a card. Any card. Sure, Uncle Ed. Mm, this one. Now, look at it and tell me what it is. Eight of diamonds. You're right. <laughs> That's an old one. I have older ones. Pick a card. Come on, Ed. Save it till after dinner. All right, folks. Dinner's ready. Mom, take the middle. Come on, Grandpa. Dinner time. What? Dinner. That's what I said. <laughs> Ed, why don't you sit over there next to Samantha? Sure. Grab a I'll... seat, Katie. Wait a minute. Tonight, you're going to sit here. The place of honor for the guest of honor. Hey. Yay. All right. You're embarrassing me. How do you like this kid, huh? She's not only smart, she's modest. Come on, Katie, I insist. Sit here. Sit down now. Tonight, nothing is too good for you. That's right, including my cabbage rolls, which I made with my own two hands, and what you're getting calls so everybody dig in. Uh, uh, I, I can't eat cabbage rolls. Uh, I have a condition. Wow. Oh, how about some nice roast chicken? Oh, I can't eat that either. Your condition? Right. How about some nice potatoes? Oh, no. 
What is your condition? Other people's cooking makes me sick. Oh, that's okay. When I get old, I plan on being a pain in the neck, too. Ed, what are you waiting for? Eat, eat. Oh, first I have to put in my good teeth. <laughs> that's gross. No, that's disgusting. This is gross. They'd have a little respect for our guest of honor. This may be the next Dr. Schweitzer sitting here. Dr. Schweitzer? Guess how old he is. Grandpa, he's dead. Dead? Oh, the hell with him, then. Oh, you never told me Katie wanted to be a doctor. Doctor, lawyer, it's still up in the air. Dad, I wish you'd stop. I've never wanted to be a doctor. Katie, whatever you want to do, I hope this money will help you get there. Uh, it's from your grandfather and me. A hundred? No, I'm 75. <laughs> it's to help for your college expenses. But, Grandma, this is a fortune for you and Grandpa. Oh, darling, we wish it were more. After all, you're the first Kaniski to ever go to college. Grandma, I really can't take this. It wouldn't take be right. Take, take it. Take it, honey. I mean, it's it's their way of showing they love you. But I can't. Hey, sweetheart, they're not the only ones. Five hundred. Wrong again. <laughs> what can I say? I had a very good year down at the mortuary. People were dropping like flies. <laughs> a toast. Hey, here, oh, here, a no, toast. Dad, please. To Katie, who's made her father the proudest, happiest man in the world today. And I know that her mother, breast her soul, if she could see her little girl now, would feel just as proud and happy as I am. To Katie, may she be blessed with all that's coming to her. To Katie. Katie. <laughs> Katie. None of it. What's that? None of this is coming to me. I don't deserve any of it. What are you doing? I didn't take that test. I didn't write one single word. I cheated. We shouldn't have told her Dr. Schweitzer died. <laughs> I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. Mom, you've been saying that for the past two hours. <laughs> Look, I'm sure Katie has a good explanation. As soon as you've gone, I'm going to have a talk with her. My own granddaughter, a cheat. Oh. What? A... Katie, a cheat. I didn't even know she was married. <laughs> You don't want to go up there. Why not? I just waxed the upstairs hallway. The upstairs hallway is carpeted. I know that, but you're going to have the shiniest shag in town. <laughs> Come on, get out of my way. Come on, Chief, please, please. Samantha's asleep. I don't want you to wake up. I'm not going to wake anybody up. <laughs> hey, you've been hanging out with Magic Johnson, huh? <laughs> Katie? Katie, open up. I want to talk to you. I can see you. I know you're in there. Don't turn your back on me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Katie, open up this door. You're just going to yell at me. I won't yell at you, honey. I don't believe you. What the hell are you wanting, affidavit? <laughs> Open the door! No! Okay. I've had it. I'm going back downstairs. I'm, <laughs> I'm going. I'm back! <laughs> now listen, I'm going to count to three. 
And if you don't open this door, so help me, I'll break it down. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sit down. Okay, you ready to talk about it? Dad. Well, it doesn't make any difference. I'm ready. Why did you do it, huh? I didn't. I couldn't help it. You couldn't help it? What are you saying? That you're pleading insanity? <laughs> Dad, you don't understand. What's there to understand, honey? My daughter cheated on an exam. There's no excuse for that. I don't care how hot you want to go to college. I'm not. It's you. You're the one that wants that stupid diploma. What are you talking about? The first Kaniski to ever go to college. That's all I've been hearing from you. You make it sound like it's the most important thing in the whole world. It is important. Well, I'm sorry. And I'm really sorry I embarrassed you in public because that's what's really important to you, isn't it? Dad, I'm just not the little genius you wanted to show off to your friends. I'm just what you were afraid I'd be. Another dumb broad. What a date. Shh. What a fabulous date. Shh. I know. Why? Why? Because I'm your father, that's why. Just hold it down to after this round. <laughs> What's going on? Girl, after you left, the stuff hit the fan. Your sister <laughs> told your daddy that she did not take that test. Bye now. Where are you going? Australia. <laughs> no. All I've got is grandma's dollar. <laughs> That'll get me to Byron's house. Excuse me, Byron? Byron Waverly? Yeah, he was my date tonight. <clears throat> Since when did you start dating seniors? And he's been going out with Katie. Huh? Yeah. Well, she sort of loaned him to me. <laughs> Now, Katie's been doing more loaning these days than household finance. <laughs> First, her dress, then her boyfriend, yeah. And you know something that's funny? When I told you about Katie not taking that test, it didn't exactly knock you over, did it? Katie cheated? Too late. <laughs> now, I want to know that kid's name, and I want to know his father's name, too. The father? Yeah. <laughs> Why? So he can know what kind of a kid he's got, so he can suffer like I'm suffering. <laughs> now, what's that kid's name? I can't tell you. Give me that kid's name! <laughs> no! Okay, it's your choice. <laughs> Dad, you can't be serious. I'm 17 years old. Well, don't plan on sitting down at your wedding. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried this a long time ago, and this wouldn't have happened. You lay one hand on this child, tomorrow's headline will read, Beautiful Woman Waste Crazy Man. Stand aside. I'm still the head of this household, king of this castle. Well, Your Majesty, your pants are falling down. <laughs> now, why don't we just sit down and discuss this real calm-like, like you were doing upstairs, only different. There's nothing to discuss. Katie's got to be taught a lesson. Daddy, it's not all Katie's fault. Shut up, Julie. Just stay out of it. It's not fair that you take all the blame. You mean you know who took that test? Yes. Who? First, give me the belt. <laughs> Nobody gets the belt. Then I'm going to stand behind Nell. <laughs> who was it? Who was it? It was me, Daddy. You? You took that test for her? 
Ah, uh, you're just covering up for somebody else. You're only 15 years old. Yeah, not bad, huh? <laughs> you may not see 16. <laughs> and you may not see 18. And you may not see... Guess how old I am. <laughs> Nobody ever guesses. <laughs> I'm ashamed to have you both as my daughters. That's great, Dad. Did you think I liked lying and cheating? I only did it to make you happy. Well, you certainly did a good job. Look at me. I can hardly get that silly grin off my face. <laughs> you see that? That's all you care about. What you get out of it. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You cheated and you're blaming me? Dad, I did it so you'd be proud of me. So you could go around smiling and bragging and thumping yourself on the chest. And... And what? And so you wouldn't stop loving me. Stop loving you? Katie, how could you think I would ever do that? I wouldn't care if you flunked every test you ever took. I wouldn't stop loving you. You gotta believe me, sweetheart. Dad, I'm sorry for all those things I said. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry, too. What are you sorry about? I had to look at your brother's teeth. <laughs> and I'm sorry that we'll never know how Katie could have done on that test. She might have surprised herself, Chief. She can still take it. What are you talking about? They let you take it more than once if you want to. A lot of kids take it twice. But why should she? All she has to do is keep her mouth shut. She can breeze right into college on my scores. That's true, Katie. You wouldn't have to lift a finger and you could go to college this fall. I'll take the test again. Hey, come on, you must be hungry. How about something to eat, huh? What's left here? Oh, we got leftovers. Leftover cabbage, leftover potatoes. Oh, and some chicken. Oh, Julie, look. Just in case the chicken is a little tough, baby, just for you. We got some leftover tea. <laughs> Pick a card. Any card. 